Hey guys, hello. Hello, hey guys. Hello. hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the Global Reactors. Uh, today we have a special guest, Mark from Lebanon. Hey Mark, thanks for joining me. Hello, me. thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, so could you tell me what is the video is about? Yeah, today? the video today is about the very famous, I think worldwide famous Oktoberfest in Munich. Mm. Meanwhile, many other kind of, uh, cities uh, celebrate a kind of copy of this Oktoberfest, but this is the one and only oh. original Oktoberfest. Oh. And it's all about okay. the beer and all about the ladies wearing their special dresses called Dirndl. I love it. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very oh, traditional okay. clothing. Many guys wear leather uh, pants. That is also traditional clothing. And yeah, oh, let's okay. watch the video. Okay, let's start the video, guys. I'm in Munich, Germany, at the world's largest folk festival, which draws in millions of visitors every year, Oktoberfest, which is not exactly considered cheap fun. So I've set myself a limit of 100 euros to see what I can do here with that. She will not go far with I've that moment. I've several must-dos on my list. I want to drink beer, of course, <laughs> eat a pretzel, try Listen. roasted chicken, ride the Ferris wheel, and check out the nostalgic Oida Wiesen. I've got a lot planned for today, so let's see what I can do. It's yeah, she day, thinks that 100 so euros is a lot of money for new. the Oktoberfest. Luckily, there are more than just beer tents around here. Let's see. It's still quite early, so I'm desperate for some coffee and cake before I start drinking beer. Let's check out this tent here. The Café Therese tent is the oldest coffee tent at the Wiesen. I got myself a cappuccino and their classic Whoa. pastry, Theresien Bussau, which all together oh, cost wow. me 14 euros. Wow, that's so tasty. That wow. 1,000 calories per piece, you know? <laughs> You'll find plenty no, okay, of food okay for me. Oktoberfest, and also many stalls selling souvenirs. Gingerbread, also famous. Oh, it uh -huh. isn't fully complete yet. I'm going to get myself one of these adorable Lebkuchen Herzen. Uh, is it oh, cake? Or? Oh, no. It what, is gingerbread. Gingerbread. Ah. Edible heart shaped gingerbread cookies with affectionate messages. They are typically worn as decorative necklaces and are often exchanged between couples or friends. Yeah, I love you or Perfect. whatever it is on the gingerbread. Yeah. And this is really typical. Closing. It sounds like the beer is officially being served. I can hear people partying it up inside. Let's go join them. Now it's finally time to investigate the reason most people are here. The beer. Here at the Love yeah. Boy Sand, this cost me 14 euros 50 cents. I wonder how much it's going to be next year. But for now, let's bring on. 14 euros 30 cents for one glass of beer. beer for Can you imagine? This year is between That's 12 not euros cheap. 60 and 14 euros nope. 90. An average of around 6% more than last year. But that doesn't seem to stop people from having a great time. Of course, I could yeah, just spend all my money in this tent there, and party you know. the day away. But I'm getting kind of drunk, yeah. so let's move on. Wow, what a crazy atmosphere. I'm feeling the alcohol a little bit, so I'm going to go look for some food to sober me up. I'm on the hunt for some roast chicken, which they call Hendel. Hi, can, yeah. I, can I get the half Hendel, please? Yeah, you can have a half or a... But that would have been almost oh, 15 euros. Roast chicken is a Bavarian classic. You cannot come to Oktoberfest without eating one. It's a little bit cheaper to get one outside of the tent. So this cost me 12 euros. Let's try it. Yeah, she's already at over 53 euros. Yeah. Hasn't done much so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have that, but we mix it with garlic. We eat it with garlic food cream. Me up a little. I'm yeah, I think ah. uh, there's a lot of fat food to compensate there for the beer. Yeah. Fun rides out here, like mm -hmm. the Teufelsrad. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna ride it myself, but watching is a lot of fun too. I just have to pay five euros to get inside. Let's go. Just five euros. <laughs> Finally, something cheap. <laughs> <laughs> or Devil's Wheel is a comical spinning wheel attraction. Yeah, this is a spinning wheel and you have to try to oh. stay on the wheel as long as you can. 
Oh my god, that's yeah, funny. Faster and faster. <laughs> I'm here. I think I'm gonna go for it as well. That's kind of fun. Especially after beer. Yeah. You can uh, give back the beer better after that. <laughs> no, this is funny. I like it. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, oh. And what will the winner win? Oh, these two girls. Win. Maybe another beer. That was a lot of excitement. <laughs> I didn't last very long, but I'm really happy I tried it. Yeah. All right, so far I have had Another breakfast, one? got a souvenir, <laughs> drank a beer, ate roast chicken, took a spin on the Teufelsrad, and I have 48 euros and 50 cents left. Not bad. So let's ask some oh. other festival goers what I should do next. But what should I do with my remaining money? I have 48 euros left. I mean, it depends on what you're up to. Just having fun. What do you recommend? I mean, I would always recommend having another beer because the more the merrier. Just spend your money all on beer because <laughs> it's the best beer you ever get. Oh, I think it's I think it's pretty obvious. I think you have to buy it on beer and one water. One you water. Always, you should always stay hydrated. I would actually pay for an admission in the old Oktoberfest because there every ride is just one euro fifty. And you can do many rides for very little. I would say you should try the chocolate fruit things. It's like really yes. good. It's like, wow. I have no idea what you can even do here. I'm walking around aimlessly trying to find a bar. <laughs> There's one thing nobody mentioned that I definitely don't want to miss. The Ferris wheel. A ticket to ride the iconic attraction costs yeah, 10 euros. that is always nice because you have an overview mm -hmm. over the whole The Ferris city. wheel is considered one of the symbols of Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see Riding the Ferris wheel uh, yeah. is obviously a bus. I mean, just look at this view. You can see the whole grounds from here. It looks crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the view is amazing. Wow. I like this That's view. Really so and, big. and this oh, wow, one is not good here. after a couple of beers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one I wouldn't try. I haven't tried either. I'm feeling a little peckish again, so for seven euros, uh, what I'm going that? for it's a just almonds, almonds with sugar, roasted with oh, sugar. Okay. Finally, I want to explore the Oida Wiesen, also known as the historic Oktoberfest. Now I'm checking out the nostalgic Oida Wiesen. It's four euros entrance, but if you're on a really tight budget, you can come after 9 p.m. when it's free to enter. Oida actually means Introduced old. from the festival's yeah? 200th so anniversary in 2010, this section evokes the oh. spirit of what Oktoberfest used to be like. Here you'll find vintage attractions and a much more relaxed atmosphere. I also found those chocolate-covered fruit that those girls recommended oh, earlier. Yeah, I'll try some strawberries and bananas for oh. 5 euros. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Another yeah, great thing about the Oida Reason is that the rides here cost just one euro fifty. Yeah, it's so strawberries, banana, pineapple, or probably uh -huh. chocolate. Wow. Yeah, this is spinning around itself, and the whole merry-go-round is spinning. So you can easily get dizzy there. Yeah. After that adrenaline rush, it's time to enjoy another beer. As you'll see later, the beer tents at the Oida Wiesen actually have room to dance inside, and I find them to be much cozier, especially in the beer garden areas. Twenty-one euros left. <laughs> Bretzel. Yeah. So I'm ending my time here with another beer, of course, and a big pretzel. 14.20 for the beer uh. and 7.50 for the pretzel, which sets me over the budget just by 70 oh. cents. So I'd say it is possible to enjoy Oktoberfest with 100 euros. Fultz. Yeah, you, you can enjoy for 100 to do euros, but you I cannot get drunk. And, more. <laughs> and we were just barely over budget. But most importantly, I had a blast. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. Dances. Yeah, that was nice festival. And uh, yeah, it's really it, uh, huge. Millions of people go there every year, 
and so the beer is getting mm -hmm. more expensive and more expensive and still ah. people go there and, and spend a lot of question. money how many sort of beers do you have for this festival? I think it is a lot. I really. think I think that in in every tent there uh, there is another brewer selling his beer, but I'm not that much um, into it because I don't like beer that much. So, but I heard there that are it's a lot. more than one hundred uh, because it's yeah. only a lot. Yeah, yeah. This is like a small village. Hmm. This Oktoberfest in Munich. Uh, the area is like a small village, really, really big. Yeah. And also, I am surprised how this, I mean, these strong ladies, they look so charming, but they bring a lot of glasses. Yeah, let's to... say um, in the most I mean, famous I... tents where the, let's say, um, well-known or uh, famous people go, yeah, like some actresses actors or the city mayor or some ah. other celebrities go um there they have ladies who can carry 15 of those glasses and oh. inside oh. there is one liter and the glass has its weight so i think it's about 18 kilo with each time they oh deliver to the table no? They have wow, uh, muscles. <laughs> it's impressive <laughs> how Mark. it's impressive how they can hold or carry all these glass, uh, all these uh, cups. Together. Yeah, there's a trick. Um, the handles are inside the round, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and they take the whole handles. Then mm -hmm. they put another layer, take the other handles, and then mm -hmm. press it a bit to their body, and that's how they can carry it but it's mm. still it's it's really athletic. i will i will break all the glasses you know <laughs> even with the trick <laughs> even if i follow the trick you know like you have to hold like this you know because it's so hard you know like yeah that's yeah and there's another and, and video like, about uh, um i found another video about uh people who work there uh, for this season for for those two weeks mm -hmm. and make a lot of money of course but they worked yeah. very hard so guys if you're interested in another video like that people working on the october fest please let us know yeah yeah, yeah sure i think it would like, be nice because you're gonna you're going to see the this festival from their point of view you know mm -hmm, you're gonna experience mm -hmm. it with them telling yeah. you about their own experience daily experience in that festival yeah, basically they yeah. have to stay sober. I think that is the worst part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think they have their fair share after work. They gather yeah. as a team. Yeah, probably. I think yeah, they yeah. have they... discounts <laughs> and so on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder if they get the beer for free since they work yes. there. Or Maybe we house. will get to know in that video. I have no idea. I think uh, yeah. we should watch it. <laughs> I'm so curious about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. So that was our reaction, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching our video. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.